Hey, what is up, guys? We are back again on, uh, oh my god, I even forgot, on Kuroko My Career. It's been a while, and uh, by now, you've probably heard uh, heard uh, multiple, multiple recollections of my, uh, the explanations for my huge break from YouTube, which really wasn't a break it was more kind of like a forced hiatus but whatever the uh the task at hand today is uh is too big for us to be getting distracted by what happened in the past two weeks so we're gonna completely forget about it because right now we are going against the 24 and 0 Saren team they have not lost a game the season's almost over i think there's 29 or 30 games in the season and they have won every single one of them so far. So we're going to make sure that we try, not try, we succeed at handing them their first and maybe their only loss this entire regular season. So let's get right to it. We win the opening tip and now the uh figure the uh the game plan should be to force uh yeah, see right there force uh, Kuroko to have to defend Miyagi, which will which will be a problem, so we're going to try to go to that matchup as uh, as much as we can this game, and uh, my focus is really just going to be on on getting steals like we almost did on Kagami and then uh, getting steals and playmaking will really We'll try not to force our shots that much. Um, I mean, we'll obviously shoot when we're open, but I'm not looking to uh, not looking to shoot like at all. So, like normally, I'd start the game doing something, uh, doing something stupid. But all right, here this needs a pick and roll. Come on, and okay. We get a good screen that allows us to break through. We don't make the shot, but we get a foul on Kagami. Uh, a foul this early, uh, this early on will really help, will only help us because worst case scenario is we just have to play normally. Best case scenario is there might be a situation where they need to play like the last three minutes of a quarter without Kagami, which will really help. So I want to go help out double teaming Kagami because, oh my god, wow. He is going to be a handful. Alright, let's see. No, no, that's not worth it. It's not worth throwing the pass. I was going to throw a pass to Kimura, but it's not worth it throwing it into the traffic. And then, boom! Otsubo drops a nice, uh, nice dunk right on Kagami's head. So let's just do this. I mean, we're not like pulling ahead, but the momentum is mostly just all on our side. So so that's really good for us. Let's see. Let's see if we can get Kuroko to take that shot. Good, perfect. Okay, Kagami didn't get the rebound. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Okay, there we go. No, Kuroko on Midorima? Let's keep it that way. Pass to him. Oh, or, or just better. Yeah, the key guy, the X factor in this game is going to be Miyagi because he has the, uh, by default, he has the, uh, one of the better matchup. I shouldn't have done that. I should have uh, noticed that when I press the steal button, like, 27 times and it didn't give me the steal. I should have taken the hint and not given myself a foul. Now, Hugo, let's see what he... Oh, of course. Okay, luckily that was a two. But we need to... We need to remember that Hugo is uh, not a dude to be messed with. Okay, let's go. Let's get Nidorima there. Oh, okay, nice. He gets fouled, which uh, 
this game is usually very reluctant to call force outs where like they body check you out of bounds. So I'm amazed that they actually called that, but I mean, that's what it was. Oh, that was a bad pass. Oh, luckily. Luckily, we are firing on all cylinders. We get the... Uh, Otubo gets his shot to go down, even though I probably would have had a better shot. Oh, nice. We get a, get a good deflection. Just to keep Saren on their toes. Let them know that they cannot freely handle the ball. Oh, man. Here, here, just pass it out. Just pass it out if you have to. Pass it out, or... Or just cook on him. And then I think that's Kagami's second foul. And by I think, I mean I know because I was just talking about it like two minutes ago. So he might have to sit down here. Let's check the lineups. Yep, Mitobe, Mitobe is forced in. So it looks like now is when we're going to have to make our move. See, there we go. We're just hounding him. Hounding, hounding whoever has the ball as long as it's not one of their big... One of their big men. Oh, man. Okay, perfect. We got the rebound. Miyagi's going in. Only Kuroko's stopping him. Let me just stay open in case he needs to bail out. And then, nope. Okay, so we started off on a... I'm going to do one of these cop-outs where you just list the run as like... This is a 15-6 to 6 run. I know that that's the total score of the game, but... We are... <clears throat> oh, sorry. We are firmly in control, up by 9. We really took a took control of the momentum in the first quarter and let's see how long we can ride this wave uh not very long if Hugo has anything to say about it let's give him that pass oh that was a that pass was pretty low luckily he is uh Otsubo is able to save that and he puts the ball right in for a score if you look right down there it, the uh, our field goal percentage is 100 right now we have not missed a shot this entire game all right Izuki, you're not doing anything except passing it to someone else who will pass it back to you and uh, repeat step one. Izuki's not able to do anything, passes it to someone, uh, passes it to Kuroko, and now Hyuga is being hounded by Midorima. That won't go in, and we could just let that run out of bounds, but we need to play in transition. Pass to Midorima. Oh, man. Mm. Almost got that pass stolen. Luckily, we didn't. Uh, we didn't get a turnover though, that's what's important about that play. I don't care that I didn't get the assist. I should have had that steal though, I think. Oh. No, get that out of here. Um, so what play was I talking Oh yeah, I was talking about the pass. I didn't get an assist for the pass, but luckily it just didn't become a turnover like that. So now... Unless someone catches up, Kiyoshi has two points. Darn. What a shame. I'll let this replay go out, because it's cool. <laughs> I mean, normally I would skip a uh, horrible replay like that. Oh, right, Otsubo is, like, free as heck, because Kiyoshi needed to, uh, needed to run the full length of the court, while Otsubo stayed back because it was like a breakaway. So it was just a perfect storm for for that play, luckily. Oh, man. All right, let's see what Kiyoshi does. He's going to be our problem. He's going to be the big problem with uh, Kagami in a little bit of foul trouble because he's going to go a little, uh, a little crazy. And by go crazy, I mean... He's just going to do his thing. So we get subbed back in with uh, about five minutes left in the fourth, in the, not the fourth quarter, the second quarter. All right. Let's do that. There we go. Okay. So we're in transition on the fast break. Make a shot. Get the and one. Kagami is back in the game. We're playing with the... Uh, we're playing with the bench unit right now, but both teams are playing with their bench units. Whoops. Alright, let's just take it straight to them. Ka I got Kagami behind me. Oh man, he almost blocked that, but luckily... Luckily, we were just... Uh, I mean, it was by more luck than anything and the fact that Kagami needed to, needed to cover more distance, but we were far enough ahead of him to where 
there was no way he was catching up, even though he got surprisingly close. I have Kagami on me for some reason. Oh, Otsubo wants some free points. There you go. Boom, another assist. So, we're just locked in and focused right now in getting this win. We're almost up by 20. I have 6 points, 4 assists. The points, I don't really care about. The assists are great because it shows that I was trying to get the ball to the right, the right guy. Um, okay, let's see what he does. He takes that shot. Uh, Kagami does try for the offensive rebound. Unfortunately, ball didn't hit the rim, shot clock doesn't reset, and they ran out of time. So let's see, are we bringing anyone else? Okay, so we brought Midorima back in. Now the only person, uh, the only person that's left from our team, or from our starters, I should say, is Miyagi. So let's see, let's run a play for Midorima really quick. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. We got Miyorima the ball. He gets fouled, and I guess that was enough to mess up his shot. But he gets two free throws, so he's getting the points. So on that free throw, we go up by 20. Hopefully on this free throw, we get up by 21. And we're going to end the half on a very good note. There we go. There's a steal. Miyorima's got it. Miyorima's got it. Screen, screen. Nice. Okay. Gotta make sure he scores that. So we got our first steal of the game, which is actually one of the more surprising stats. Although, now that I think about it, it's not very surprising considering Izuki's a very good point guard. So here it is, point guard points per game. Apparently we're fifth, which is interesting because our stats really aren't tracked. Like if you go to the league leaders in anything, I'm not there, so like none of my stats count for league leaders, but I guess they are being counted, if that makes any sense at all, but uh, yeah, so apparently they are counting my stats, which is weird, but it's cool just to show that I do add value to the team. Kuroko, you're losing this ball. I'm sorry. You're losing it again. Steal. Come on, score this, please. Okay. I just saw Kagami running up behind him, and I was like, oh man, this could end. This could end very badly. Alright, our second steal in like... Oh! Third steal. Third steal in uh, just as many minutes. Miyorima, you can do this. Yeah, there we go. Nice assist. I wasn't... Uh, I'm really focused. Normally I would have taken that shot even though there's like two defenders, but nah, not in this game. Not in this game that matters so much. Well, that's the problem with getting steals. Luckily I was able to uh, get back in time. Even though he did get fouled, I'm not letting him get an and one. So I just swatted that ball right out of the air. So Miyagi's back in and Kiyoshi is out. So they're playing relatively small with Mitobe at center and uh, we have Otsubo resting I'll take this three it's open enough okay there's our there's our missed three of the day um, I'm not really getting as good with the uh, with Trey Price's three-point timing as I would have hoped but that'll that'll come in due time. Let's be sure to be open for the switch. And there's the uh, obligatory Kagami dunk, which we all knew was going to happen eventually. Knew it was going to happen eventually, but uh, why why can't I pass? The pass button just did not work, so I guess we're going to have to toss up that shot, which. Uh, isn't the plan, wasn't the plan, that isn't what I would have wanted to do, but that's what we're being forced to do. Now it looks like we're guarding Mitobe, unfortunately. 
He's going to try to abuse us right now. Luckily, we get the steal. Let's get it to me, Orima. Can he fire it off? Yes! Okay. That was a... That was a rushed shot. So we really can't blame him for missing that. And, I mean, we're up by 21 going into the half. So who can really be blamed at this point? Uh, Miorima has 17 points. Looks like he's going to be the player of the game. And let's just check out some of these highlights. So here's a... Uh, Here's my, like, one shot with the and one. And then I guess there's a, oh man, the amazing poster on Kagami. That's the first half of Shutoku versus Saren. All right, so it looks like we've been at this game for a while. So next time on Kuroko My Career, we'll finish up this game against Saren, up by 21 at the half. And we're hoping to not stop in the second half, but... Who knows? That's why you gotta you gotta play the whole game. There's 16 minutes left. Till next time. See ya.